Welcome back to the ABC4 pop-up studio tour. Today we find ourselves in Brigham City, more specifically the Brigham City Fire Station. This is the fourth stop right. on our tour during the month of May. And it has been a whole lot of fun. It but has. joining us now from the fire station is Fire Chief Joseph Bach, who's been here for five years now? About five years, yeah. Okay, a lot has probably, you've seen a lot in five years. A here. lot's happened in five years here. Um, we've gone from a paid on call department to now a combination department where we have, you know, um, uh, most everybody here, everybody here is either part-time or full-time. We have 11 full-time people that work here now, and uh, we've gone from a department that was divided between fire and medical to a, a department that now has everybody is cross-trained, fire and medical, wow. and we respond to those calls from the station where they used to respond from their homes, get to the station, grab an ambulance, really? and go out. So and that was just here. within the last five years this that has was changed. Five years ago, wow. it was just like that. So, so some big change there. Now, you came out to Brigham City from other places. How, what brought yes. you out here? Was it just finding out about the area and the job? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I worked over in Cache Valley with Logan Fire okay. Department for 20 years. Hello. And I've been in the fire service for about 30 mm -hmm. years. And when? I've been yeah. here about five. So I came okay. here as a fire chief. They hired me as a fire chief. Uh, to come in and make some changes, and we've been able oh, to be great. make quite okay. a few changes. And tomorrow at um, 8.30, yeah, it's, it's been good. We should talk about some of the unique sure. things. First off, I want to say thank you, by the way, too, for hosting us in your space, and oh, thanks for your 30 years of and, and making sure no calls happen over here. That was good, too. I don't know how you did that. We, we've you. been busy all day. All right. So, yeah, we, we run about 2,700 calls last year, and uh, that's an average of about seven to eight calls a day, and we've already had that today. So wow. it's been a busy day, and, and uh, the, guys, the guys put a lot of time in running those calls. It, it doesn't leave a lot of time to get things ready, right. you know, for everybody coming, but they, they have to make sure their apparatus and equipment is ready to go. Right. So. Something unique, I would say, is that you guys cover such a big area, we right? Do. Talk about yes. what's so unique so, to Brigham City. So one fire. of the things that's interesting about our dynamics is that we cover all the ambulance calls, paramedic ambulance calls, for an area that's about 750 square miles. Wow. And we, we cover a fire area that uh, covers all of Brigham City and Perry City, and then we run mutual aid for the surrounding volunteer fire departments. So it, it's a lot to cover. And when you talk about transport times that go all the way out to Promontory, right. it's 45 minutes when you, just really? to get out there and then you pick up your patient in 45 minutes to a hospital. Right. So it all depends on what's going on during the day and how things are going, it's, it, sometimes it's very difficult to get the staffing right. to do that. And the same right? thing, I guess, in the other direction. You're going clear out to the Cache County line to the other direction, right? Up the canyon, and in the wintertime, that canyon gets to be a mess. Uh, yeah. But we have those calls. We certainly do. Now, you're, what are the plans for the fire department? You come in, you've made some changes. You now have 11 full-time folks and 25 right. or so part-time. What, what are you hoping will happen here in the next few years under your tour? It's a great question. Great <laughs> question. I, I am really hopeful that we're able to bring this department uh, more into the staffing with, with more full-time people. Um, it's a it is very big turnover, right? It's very difficult to, to hire part-time people right. and keep the station staffed. We're constantly uh, understaffed because of that. It's a, it's a revolving door. And right now, it's very difficult for fire departments all across the country, specifically even in Utah, uh, to keep staffing. Um, it's, it's hard to find people coming into the fire service right now. Most, it seems like most young people, yeah. as they, as they uh, are developing their careers, they're not looking for this kind of work. Oh, most of them are doing computer stuff yeah. and right. that kind of thing. And we need more people like that. Okay. That, that are, they're telling us our time's up, but if you could say one message and as you're trying to recruit more people interested in this field, what do you want to say? Well, I think what I would say is this is a great job. Yeah. It's been good to me. There you go. And it can be good to you. Well, we'll be talking some more. I'm sure. Thank I'm you so sure. much, Chief. All right.